Hi guys, it's Mac again. Now that you have Smile installed, it's time to set up a points program that's going to promote repeat purchases. We're really focusing here on strategies that boost customer retention. There's one main factor that's going to indicate how well your program succeeds, and that's the number of purchases it takes for a customer to get a reward. There's two main factors to that. The percentage back to a customer, so when they spend money in your store, how many points are they getting? Once they have those points, what does it mean in terms of reward value? Our goal for this video is for your store to have its first redemption after 30 days. This works well when customers only need to make one to two purchases in order to get a reward. We can set this up in Smile Admin. Now that you're logged into Smile Admin, go to the Program tab and then Points. By default, this Place an Order rule is already active. It's the most important rule because it gives back every time your customer makes a purchase. Let's click on Edit. Now there are two types here. Increment of points gives back points per dollar spent, incentivizing the customer to spend more money. Fixed amount of points gives the same amount regardless of their purchase value. We recommend giving 3 to 10% back to customers on every purchase, starting more conservatively at 3 and then working your way up, especially if your products have a healthy margin. 3 points per dollar equals 3% back if we stick to a very important rule and that's 100 points equals $1 in rewards. I'll explain more about that later, but as a reminder, I'm going to stick it in the corner so we don't forget. Now we're going to hit save and go back. Let's add some more ways to earn, like the birthday rule. It helps get customers into your store with a reminder email on that day. The value should be around the lowest reward you plan to have, like a $5 off coupon. If we're sticking to this 100 points equals $1 rule, a $5 off coupon will equal 500 points, and that's what we're going to do here. All right. Next, we want to incentivize customers to sign up for your store. So that's signing into their Shopify or BigCommerce or Wix store. Let's give them a little bit less than half of the value of the lowest reward. So again, if that reward is a $5 off coupon, 200 points is less than half. This is good because it means the customer has to make at least one purchase before they can get that first reward. We don't want to make it too easy for them. Now let's add some social actions, like liking on Facebook. You could put the Facebook URL of your, your company and want to give a relatively low value. Again, if we're sticking with this rule, we can understand that this is about 50 cents worth of rewards back to the customer. And let's do one more of those. Let's do share on Facebook as well. So here we can put the URL of our store and customers can share this directly to their Facebook feed. Again, giving a relatively low value for that. If you're on a paid plan, you can limit that action to one or more. Now we have a good overview of all of our earning actions. If we're sticking to this 100 points equals $1 in rewards, it's really easy to see the value of all these actions. We're giving $5 back to the customer on their birthday, $2 for them to sign up, and 50 cents for each of the social actions. This is a great overview and it's a balanced plan. Now that customers have points, they want to spend them. This is the exciting part, because this is the second or third time a customer has been in your store and they get to pick something out. We want to make a variety of rewards, some that are small and easy to get to, and some that are really good benefits but are worth more points. This is going to incentivize customers to spend more money to get those better benefits. It's also going to reward the customers who are most loyal in your store. If we are sticking to the 100 points equals $1 in rewards, this will be easy for us to set up. To set up rewards, we're going to go back to the Program tab and then Points, scroll down, and you'll see this Order Discount rule is set up by default. Let's click Edit. We're going to see there's two types here, Fixed Amount of Points, which I'll talk about later, and Increments, which allows the customer to pick the value of the coupon. Here's what it looks like. This gives customers the power to choose the value of how many points that they're spending and the value of the reward. Implementing a bit of a micro-rewarding strategy. 
We're gonna set a minimum amount of points. So if we want $5 to be our lowest reward or 500 points. This is really important because it prevents the customer from using this reward without making a purchase. Now, if you want to have set coupons, so $5 or $10 at that fixed amount, what you're going to do is delete and then set up new rewards. And I'll show you that. You'll hit add ways to redeem, amount discount, and that'll be the fixed amount of points. So here we'll do a $5 coupon for 500 points. We can apply it to specific collections if we want to, or run a promotion. And we can have a minimum purchase requirement to protect those margins a little bit. If you like tracking your coupon codes through your e-commerce platform, you can add a prefix. This will allow you to search through the coupon codes and see the health of the program. It'll add the prefix to that auto-generated code. We'll hit create and go back. Let's set up another one, maybe for $10. Again, if we're sticking to our rule, $10 equals 1,000 points. Let's check out the free shipping reward. To set the value of this, you're going to look at your average shipping cost. So if that's $15, we'll do 1,500 points. With a maximum, we don't want customers to get too carried away with this. Next, if you're a growth product or growth plan or above a subscriber, you have the feature free product. This allows you to give a free product away when they hit a certain amount of points, and it's going to be based on the products in your e-commerce platform. You can search for them by spelling out their names exactly, or you can browse. So we're sticking with our rule, $18 equals 1,800 points. And last, we're gonna do this percentage off. Percentage off is a great high value reward because the more customer spends, the more money this reward is actually worth. A good way to figure out how to set this points value is to look at your average order value. So if your average order is $100 and you want your coupon to be 20% off, 20% of $100 equals $20. So that would equal 2,000 points for 20%. Okay, and here we have a review of all the rewards we set up. It's great because it's an ascending order, which means customers have to spend more and more money to get higher and higher in the system, incentivizing them to spend more in your store. Let's take a look at the program overview. I recommend doing this if you want to get a solid understanding of the program you set up. One value that's going to be really important here is the average order value in your store. It's easy to look up in your e-commerce settings, and if you don't know how to do that, there's a link in the description below. So here we have the points per dollar, average order value. Now if we multiply those together, we're gonna to get the average points per purchase. So you can imagine roughly every time a customer makes a purchase, they're gonna get roughly that amount of points. We can use this to make sure that all of our rewards and earning actions that we set up make sense. So on our left, we have actions that don't require a purchase. So things like sign up, those social actions. When we add them all together, that equals 300 points. So you can also imagine it that we're giving $3 back to the customer before they've made a purchase. We want to make sure that's lower than the first reward. So on the right, we see all of our rewards. 300 is lower than 500, which is good because it means customers have to make at least one purchase before they can get in. It's not too easy. They do have to come back to your store, but they only have to come back once and then they're engaged and they're interested in the program, which is exactly what we want. So on the right, we can see all of our rewards, the points, and the number of purchases until redemption. This is really important because imagine a customer had to make seven or eight purchases to get that first reward. Total disincentive and they're not going to engage in your program. Here you can see they're steadily increasing in, in value, which is good because it's an incentive for a customer to progressively spend more and more money. It's easy enough to engage with. They only need to make one purchase to get that first reward and only a few purchases to get that second. And there are per, or rewards for those customers that are very loyal, those 10, 15, you know, those really high purchase customers, you can put big rewards in there for them. Hopefully this all makes sense, but it, it's 
structured around this 100 points equals $1 in reward value. If you were to change that ratio, you would have to recalculate everything here and it could get complicated. If you're interested in doing that, go ahead. We highly recommend against it though. If you do have any questions and this doesn't make sense, feel free to make a comment. I'm happy to chat with you about programs and the theory behind it. Congratulations on setting up your points program. Now you can enable it and customers can start earning. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below or send us a chat or a message. We're always happy to talk. Feel free to check out our channel and see all the other kinds of information we have available. We have tons of videos to help you get started and make a successful loyalty program. I'll see you soon.